Hello and welcome to my first algorithm design tutorial. Uh, sorry I couldn't get to making this video earlier. Um, but anyway, uh, so in this video I'll just go over what uh, an algorithm is and why we create algorithms and so forth. And in later tutorials, I'll, we'll go over how to create them. And uh, also, I can assure you that you can get uh, a better understanding of algorithms and stuff if you go to um, MIT or something like that. I'm just going to teach you my general understanding of algorithm design and uh, so forth. So, anyway, uh, why do we need algorithms? Well, uh, when we looked at my last Python tutorial, we saw that that was one really big program. You can't just say, I'm going to create tic-tac-toe, and then write that program. We're going to need to know how how do we go about creating a program like that. And that's what an algorithm is. It's the general outline, the general concept, the, the gist of your program. What do you want your program to do? And uh, usually it's written in something called SIDU code, which isn't uh, a programming language, but it shares the same thing. So when we create a function, we do def, uh, la, 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 and then boom, 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 boom. Ah, uh, and then we have our code here. But, um, uh, it's, it's not really something. And then once you're done writing your algorithm, you translate that back into Python or whatever programming language you are, um, writing in. Um, also, when you get really experienced at writing algorithms, you write um, efficient ones also. And a great example of an efficient algorithm is when you're searching through a list of stuff, Python comes with an automatic sort function like that. Um, and that's what you call a uh, linear search. And if if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dot, 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 and someone says, guess my number, um, it's between one and ten or something. Python will go, is it 1? No. Is it 2? Is it 3? Is it 4? Is it 5? And then, oh yeah, it's 6. That's great. Um, but if you create your own algorithm, something that's more efficient, which is called a binary search. Binary search. All right, my handwriting is terrible, but all right, doesn't matter. You get the concept. Um, it will say, "Is it do 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 four five six seven eight dot dot dot?" And it's one through eight. Is it four? Is it greater than four? Let's say. Then uh. It'll be, it'll say, yeah, it's it's greater than four. Just remember, it's six. So we cross this out, and then is it greater than six? And then, uh, no, it's not greater than six. Is it less than six? No, it's not less than six. So it must be six. 
in this it took us six steps to get this it took us only three um also it's just more efficient with bigger stuff but getting a little off topic with this but as you can see when you create more efficient algorithms you get more efficient programs also if you might recall from my first python tutorial i mentioned how <clears throat> sorry i mentioned that interpreted languages such as python may sometimes be slower than uh compiled languages such as c++ um that's not entirely true that's up to the experience of the programmer because if you have a totally beginner programming programmer with c++ and a very experienced one with python then python will be much faster because guess what the algorithms are better and um so that's pretty much why we have algorithms is to make our programs more efficient uh and so we can visualize them by making like oh yeah program blah, 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 and then blah, 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 inside you code that's really all algorithms are so um, look forward to teaching you about how to create algorithms and practical uses for them. I will see you next tutorial.